Hi everyone, welcome back to another very exciting jailbreak video. Today I'll be sharing 15 jailbreak glitches that I use all the time. The first glitch is flying cell car. So if you have this car, just go to a place where you can sort of flip the car on the side, something like here, and then you take a C4, so I brought one, and then you just place it here in the center of the vehicle. And now it's ready. Just go uh, to your car and then get in. And now there will be no height limit. It's really good for just messing around with cops or having fun with the friends. So you can see that I'm flying like really high and something really great about this glitch is that it works. Uh, so you don't have any height limit whatsoever. Like it exceeds limits of all cars in jailbreak. It, it can go higher than jet or any other vehicle in jailbreak. So you can say I am able to see sort of entire map of jailbreak uh, from uh, my car. Now here my friend wanted to launch a nuke and we wanted to go inside the military base so I just placed a C4 under the cell car and now we were ready to go in so there was no height limit and we could easily sort of fly into the military base uh, and then we were able to easily see and track the nuke when my friend launched it so we flew uh, to this sort of mountain area to see the nuke trap and just like that it was a beautiful scene You can also do the same thing with a uh, Volt Bike, just take a C4 and then jump and place it on the front wheel top side and then you, something like here. And now you can just fly Volt instead of uh, riding it and it goes like really fast and it's so fun to do this. So if there are cops and uh, sometimes I end up in servers where there are a lot of try hard cops so I just use these sort of glitches to mess around with them and they uh, have like hard time catching me. And here's what it looks like uh, from a different person's perspective. So here my friend placed it on top of his bike and just like that he flew. And sometimes people might call you hacker because uh, you'll be flying a volt bike and they can't. C4s are really cool. You can do s really cool stuff with it. So I was at mansion and then there are a lot of people. So I went and quickly grabbed some C4s and then I went back to mansion. Now, I wanted to show them how to use this glitch, uh, so I placed a C4 down here and then I just stood here something like in the center of the C4 and then just look up on that shelf there and then trigger the C4 and it gives me a boost and then I can be up here. Next we have this mansion jumping glitch, so if you hold down jump button inside the mansion you can see that this won't trigger the lasers. So with this glitch you don't have to fear anything, you just go into mansion hold jump button and then just keep going through these puzzles and you'll be able to reach uh, CEO before anyone else. They will be a bit more careful with the lasers but you'll be sort of able to go there. Next we have this car jump. It lets you make your car jump so then if you're in prison and thinking out your friends you can see it goes something like here. So to do this you quickly press uh, and hold space and then E together. So you sort of uh, press space and then E very quickly together and it gives it, uh, your car a boost and then you can use a bit of nitro and just like that you can see that we didn't have to leave our car and then come out of prison and then take another car so we were in the same car and we're very easily able to get out of the prison and here you can see that we went into the prison again with the same glitch different car so it works for any vehicle in jailbreak and you can also get out very easily space and e quickly and then bit of nitro and just like that and then again here I waited for my friend, my game lagged a bit and then I did the same glitch. And just like that we were out of the prison. If you have big bounty and you get arrested, you know that you'll be sent to the high security prison in jailbreak. But you can very easily get out of here by doing uh, this glitch. So what you have to do is that you just simply swim like you would normally. But once you reach this laser part of the prison, uh, instead of climbing up, just keep touching the laser until you die. And then it's going to teleport you back to normal prison. And then you can just normally escape out of here. And you can do uh, this in a different way. So here I asked my friend to arrest me. And then once I was in the prison, what I had to do was that click on this team change button here and then simply select the prisoner team again. And it also teleports you back to normal prison. And now you can just use the super jump glitch to escape very easily and you'll learn about super jump later in the video. If you are at tomb, like here we were a lot of people in tomb and you're able to get to the 
final part of the tomb uh, before anyone else, something like here. So whenever you're in with a lot of people and you're, you're able to make it to the diamond area before everyone else, then what you can do is that when this door opens up, you pick up a diamond and then go quickly go back here. Now, as soon as someone else arrives here, the second gate will open for you. And then you just climb up here. Now keep spamming the jump button so you don't fall down. And then you just jump down on the track here. And then you have to walk back a bit. Now this way you'll be able to reach the current before anyone else. Uh, so they'll be waiting for door to open and then often people fight uh, for getting into the curd before other people. Uh, so you don't have to do any of that with this glitch. So you can see that they're still waiting at the door here. And as it's opening you can see that I was in the curd and I left tomb before anyone else. Another thing that you can do with Tomb is that if you have a vehicle like helicopter or drone and you don't want to lose it, you just park it outside of uh, Tomb exit. Uh, either exit works. So once you park your uh, vehicle, then you start walking in here. So I have few friends that are going to help me demonstrate this. So you can see as soon as he walks into the tunnel, he teleports to the Tomb. Uh, so what it does is that uh, at the exit, you'll have your vehicle ready. So you, don't, you just walk here and it teleports you like here. If you're robbing jewelry store, uh, you know that there are lasers here, uh, but if you just move a bit forward, then lasers uh, are not gonna touch you. You can see that I'm sort of floating up here. So simply f uh, hold the forward moving key, and then you can very easily break these boxes. You can do the same thing for that side over there. And if you just want to get hyperchrome and you don't want to rob a jewelry store for money, you just go in here and then punch this box four times, and count them, and then just quickly run out. And just like that, you can see that you'll be able to complete your store without going through all three floors. And uh, so you'll get less money, but you'll have the bonus roll, which often gives you a uh, hyper diamond. If you're a cop and there are people in jewelry store and you want to arrest them, uh, just take a helicopter and then park it on the roof here. Uh, you have to be a bit careful because there are lasers down there. So just find a place. I usually like to uh, park my heli something like here because there's empty, empty space uh, in there. So you can see through that glass. Then sit on your helicopter passenger seat. So just look at the area something like here. I wasn't in rush and then you simply press G and grab the rope and C at the same time. So it's quickly press the both keys together and you can see that I glitched inside the jewelry store and then uh, you can arrest anyone inside. Also it's helpful if you bring force field launcher. If you see an airdrop falling down uh, what you can do is that uh, just go below the airdrop where it's going to fall down and then you just walk below the airdrop and then prone or press the crouch button and then you can just stay within this uh, airdrop. Now the good thing about this is that the guards won't shoot anybody around the airdrop so if you have a lot of people with you uh, what's gonna happen is that guards will sort of just stay there unless attacked. So if uh, someone from the outside attack guard then guard will try to shoot that person who attacked uh, the guard. Uh, be, the guards aren't shooting so you can see I was able to very easily do this airdrop uh, within few seconds and just like that and that way you'll be able to get a lot of invites for mention robbery and y you get a lot of extra saves and stuff so here you can see that we were sort of going through this area I saw this airdrop and then I just pressed uh, the crouch button and I had friends but we didn't need to find the guards because I was inside the airdrop so we just hold E button and then we just waited for a few seconds. You can see the guards will sort of gather on top of the airdrop and then they won't do anything about it. And then we just waited a few more seconds here. But if the airdrop has already fallen down on the ground, well then what you can do is that you have uh, to be on PC for this glitch to work. So you go near the airdrop, you have to be nearest person to the airdrop, hold down E and then also hold down a right mouse button on the white title bar at the top. Now this will make it look like that the game froze, but you're doing the airdrop in background and then you can let go of the right click after every few seconds and that way you'll be able to see the progress. As you can see when I let go of the right click, uh, I can see the progress update a bit and then I hold down right mouse button again. So if I show you, you can see that the guards are still up in the sky because they were frozen and they were sort of falling down. So I didn't have to fight them, I was able to very easily get in the airdrop. If you're robbing museum, uh, which I often do, uh, what you can do is that you have to spawn a pickup truck and then you simply drive it in. Because it's a narrow car, it just drops in here. Now jump out of the vehicle before it drops in because otherwise you'll be stuck inside the vehicle. So you have to jump out as it's falling down into museum. And then you just simply uh, rob museum as you would normally. So here I'm picking up some paintings and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab some bones here. 
and once I'm done I just look at the pattern here of the lasers and then I can very easily walk or jump um, so it's very easy and then I just jump up here on this wooden fence make sure that you jump up here it makes it so much easier and then just jump on the pickup truck and then jump out and just like that you'll be able to rob museum uh, a lot quicker and finally my favorite glitch a uh, super jump so the way this works is that it allows you to jump over a lot of fences and other places in jailbreak so you walk up to a fence and then you quickly press w and then space so this makes you jump higher and up in the cards i will link to a different video where i explain this in more detail and you can also use the same glitch for jumping up in places like here you can see that i'm inside the mansion i simply press w and space quickly and it allows me to get up here and then i can do same thing to get up here on the chandelier and then i jump on this edge here so if there are cops or anything you can also sort of mess around with them so these are all the glitches that i use in jailbreak it makes uh, playing jailbreak more fun i hope you found something new in this video and now enjoy some bloopers <laughs> <laughs>